Hello everyone, welcome to this video, Sun Frontier video. My name is Jay Wakefield and today we're going to be doing a hands-on with the Toshiba Tekra 500 CDT. Now, it was, um, this, this machine has been completely uh, set up now and um, I've been using it, been playing a couple games, doing you know, a couple of bits and bats with it and um, well, my first impressions are that um, it's a pretty good machine, actually. Um, must admit, I, I do quite like it. The only thing that I would say lets the side down is the speakers, which uh, sound extremely tinny and have quite a lot of hiss. Um, probably it could be driver-related, it could be just the speakers, but I mean, really, there's not <laughs> really that much of a problem actually because um well you know what I've decided that um, now is the perfect time to unbox this now here is a Christmas present that I got from one of my friends and I've been wanting to do an unboxing video of it um, now what this is, is, well it's a wee amplifier, it's a speaker, it looks like a tiny wee guitar amp, pretty cool. So, um, you know what, why don't we unbox it and use it with this Toshiba Tecra, that way we can also uh, have a look at how good the um, audio out is. Ugh, so, as is usual with my videos, the actual... Um, opening of the box seems to take place off, off camera. <clears throat> yeah, this is going well. <laughs> also, we have with us today Mr. Billy Core. Hello. And, um, that is absolutely brilliant. So... We have a couple of things. Now. And, um. Am I going to be able to. Am I going to be able to pull this out? Yes, I am. So. What's in the box then? Well. Why don't we have a wee look? This handle doesn't appear to actually be a handle. <laughs> oh well. Anyway, uh, what we have in the box is... I'm just going to have a wee look at... Um, there we go. That makes sense now. What we have is the amplifier itself. We've got volume, bass and travel. Uh, treble. The input goes in on the front like a rail amplifier. Then there's a power amp. Then there's a power switch. Power amp. On the back we have um, space to put some batteries and um, a USB input. Um, now this USB input, um, don't get it, don't get too excited because. I believe it's actually for power, not necessarily for streaming from an MP3 player or something. Although that would be neat, but there'd be no playback buttons on it, so it really wouldn't make any sense. Um, so I'll have a look at the destructions. Yeah, USB power input. So, with that said, I have one question. Where am I supposed to plug this? It's a Windows 95 laptop. <laughs> what is it? It's a USB input for this uh, for this amplifier speaker. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> very well prepared on this show, ladies and gentlemen. Um, be right back. I think I'm going to get a USB plug. Okay, so this is switched on. Tell you what I'm going to do. I'll give it a wee bit of volume. Uh, 
Now, unfortunately, I'm not away to pan over to a miniature uh, Fender Stratocaster. But what I do have is this giant Toshiba Tecra 500 CT. Hey, um, Jay, I'm going to drop out with Paul and I got to take care of something off, but I'll be back in a few. Okay. So, I guess now it's time to switch on. So this machine, like I said, has, has been working like a charm, actually. Alright, let's uh, log on. Once again, we're uh, logged into my domain. Not bad. Not bad at all. So, we've got Office for Windows 95 installed on here. I'm spelling it wrong. These big grey Toshiba laptops are excellent for just looking amazing and for throwing at people who think that fascism is a good idea. I think we should send that to print. And we can have a look at um, can have a look at what it looks like, and there we are. Excellent. Let's save it. Save it locally. Right. <clears throat> Excellent. Now let's play a uh, couple of games. I'm going to play this one. Rats. And then, yep. Now the idea of this game is to try and stop the rats breeding before they um, overtake, um, totally overtake the map. And good news guys, I'm not going to be able to see a thing.
Excellent, I've got two of them. Right, and what we can do here is we can actually hem them in. And um, <laughs> one of my favourite uh, weapons on this game is uh, this. I just love I just love the sound effects on this game seriously to whoever created that bravissimo seriously excellent and the thing is you can also the rats also breed so it's a good idea to try and stop them from being able to breed um by <laughs> there you go that's Yeah, and I think the rats are going to win. Oh yeah, it's becoming really rather brutal right now. <laughs> Look, I can turn this map into something that looks like, that kind of looks like Chris Master One's neighbourhood after he's been and had a Taco Bell. And don't think I won't do it. Yeah, thanks. Okay, so <clears throat> I think it would be a brilliant idea now um to try a wee bit of CD-ROM action. The guy looks like an, a geeky, grown-up version of Arnold from Hey Arnold. So we go back to a previous game. Put the three bowling balls into the wicker baskets. Right, I would think... Well, maybe I could help get your truck started. Here. 
And there we have it. Let's let's do another one. Start both of the electric mixers. Uh, no, not this one. I always find this one a wee bit difficult, I've got to be honest. Unless... There we go. So, I think, um... So, <clears throat> I would say that, um, I would say that this kind of concludes uh, the video. Unfortunately, I wasn't really able to play any MS-DOS games on here, because, like I've said in my previous video, the panel stretch, you know, it's just non-existent. Um, but, I do hope you have enjoyed um, this video all the same. Um, I must admit, I really do like these uh, machines. I said so in, in my last video about this computer, and you know, it's they they are they're really quite good. So, um, with that said, I hope you have all enjoyed my video. If you like my channel, please feel free to uh, subscribe, like the channel on Facebook, and follow me on Twitter. <clears throat> but until then. Please join me for my next video. Goodbye.